Larry's a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the Zombie Crew Podcast. My name is TZKU. And I am K-Dog. And with us today we have two guests. Yes. Trump that bitch. Trump Trump that bitch. Wow. (laughs) Trump that bitch. That's that's a great name, Mr. Trump that bitch. Uh, Stole my fucking name. Ah. And welcome to the final episode of the Zombie Crew Podcast. Now, the reason why I say the final episode is because... Because we, Trump we, is shutting this shit can- down. We're getting canceled. <laughs> we got canceled, but we're becoming a new podcast network called the Lag Drop Podcast, a wrestling gaming podcast hosted by me, Kevin, <coughs> and also Super Zone My God Barbecue. He'll be like a constant co-host, so he's not going to be on like every episode like K-Dog is, but... He'll still be part of the show. Now, if we could introduce our guests the proper way, so there it's not Mr. Trump that bitch and Mr. Trump that bitch, that'd be great. Yeah, you fucking brothers, like the hell is all Actually, that, man? Did you just assume my gender? Yes, I did. I am hell, Mrs. Man. Trump that not bitch. Cool. Thank you very not much. Cool. <laughs> you're, you're, you are a male ah, that go identifies yeah, as Mrs. Mrs. Really? <laughs> Yes, but really my pronoun is moo, and I identify as a moose gender. So if you do not refer to me as moo Matthew, I will be super pissed off for the rest of my life. And I may even take you to court if you move to Canada to avoid Trump. (laughs) That is like the ultimate form of 2016 triggered right there. Like, I... I will be triggered for the rest of my life. Good for you. Yep. Social uh, so, justice warriors for life, yo. Matthew, whatever. <laughs> Moo Matthew. Okay. Moo and Matthew, Hal. Yes. And, and Hal. Or as we, as he would like to be referred to as, Trump that bitch. <laughs> Trump that bitch. <laughs> well, I wasn't aware I was introducing myself. I thought it was just like that was a, that was a great T-shirt. I'm, right I'm so I'm so glad we're a ra- we're 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 an explicit podcast network where it's just like eh, whatever. I always say network. It's just we're an explicit podcast in general. Say what you fucking want. <laughs> but anyways, mate, we're give really- the fucking champ his other belt, mate. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. Where's my fucking belt? Where's my fucking belt? We <laughs> got the two Canadians doing different accents. Like we, we gotta change it, eh? <laughs> okay. And, and what we're here to talk about today is WWE Supercard Season Three. Uh, we were recently told by the the Supercard official Twitter, uh, by Cat Daddy themselves. They told us Season Three will be dropping this Wednesday for us on recording date. <laughs> A.K.A. November 16th, if you listen to this past. Uh, A.K.A. as I'm on a plane. As I'm on a plane. Flying high <laughs> again. <laughs> A.K.A. Cat Daddy was just like, oh shit, we gotta do shit. Yeah, they were like, oh no. But they gave they're us like, a lot of... Yeah, they're like, like, when is Moose planning his vacation? Perfect. The day he leaves, we're launching this. Oh, wait, are you actually... Wait, you're going to be on vacation? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Toronto for Survivor Series and shit. And I leave on oh, that's Wednesday right. morning. Yeah, yeah. And they fucked me so hard. I'm like, please, just come out Tuesday night. I can deal with that. <laughs> how, how much of a vacation is that for Canadians? Because I'm like... like I'm going across the him, country. Tra- yeah, he's going across. For me, I just got to go to the nearest city and do like, that. How far away is wait, that? Wait, wait, can we see can we see a K Dog and Moose picture with each other? Quite possibly. <laughs> no, I ha- <laughs> It's like four hours away from where I live, but I have no reservations or so to do, so so oh, maybe not. Damn. Exactly. That would that would have been awesome. <laughs> like the two Canadians that I like two of the most talkative Canadians that I talk to and just like in one picture it's like holy crap. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know more Canadians online than I know Americans online. That's the same, actually, for me. That's it's sort of the same. Actually I know more people out of like a, in a different country. I also know one one Cuban for some reason. <laughs> was it from YouTube or something? He was selling me some good cigars. There is a stupidly long story behind me in that Cuban. I, I <laughs> with <laughs> That sounds but, odd. That sounds odd. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> 
Okay, we're gonna. We're gonna it was started. for a little bit, but another day. <laughs> yeah, like you said, for another day. We're gonna get. <laughs> we'll talk about that on the lag drop podcast. So we're gonna get started with season threes, uh, featuring three new tiers. Three. Ass, tits, and boobs. There you go. They're fantastic <laughs> tiers. I am excited to see Dana Brooks' titties every day of my life. <laughs> I'm so glad she actually got a card in SummerSlam. I was like, oh, damn, that's Yo, awesome. Yeah, so, and her picture was dope. I liked it, actually. I was like, oh, holy shit, she actually has a good card. I, I really hope that backstage picture with them titties is her season three card. That would look so fucking beautiful. <laughs> well, don't worry. We got custom card creators for a reason. Yeah, I, I've got that one saved for jerk-off material in my face. <laughs> so I could pretend anyways, I'm playing this Dana Brooke card. All right, so here we go. Uh, on the website itself, three new tiers, over 100 new cards, and all the personality you can handle. I've already seen so many problems because they say over 100 new cards. You know how difficult it is to get a pro now? Yeah. Like, well, I don't know. Fucking, it depends on the size of the, Well, yeah, because they're going to be split up into three different sections, too. I, I wonder if there's a feature to pick the roster that you want. So it's like, I want Raw cards, I want SmackDown cards, or I want NXT cards. That would seem to yeah. make more sense than just having them all spread out. Yeah, exactly. It'd be like, oh, I just pulled a Raw superstar here. I just pulled a SmackDown Live superstar. It's like, Jesus, this is going to take forever to pro it, people. Well, and then, too, if you pick brand loyalty, that would, that would be the way to go. You get certain I, cards out of that. Because yeah. I... Personally, I don't want many cards from the Raw tier. I want Owens, Jericho, and Rusev, probably. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, what's your thoughts on this? I don't know. I, I, interesting, I guess, uh, of a concept and idea. Uh, I, yeah. I, the only thing I have issue with is that these tier names that yeah. are associated here. Would you like to name yeah, them, please? They're pretty fucking All lame. Right. So first we've got hardened because apparently <laughs> I am every so superstar is so fucking hard right now. <laughs> oh, it's hardened. He's a hardened superstar. He's got lots of bags uh, around him. The D is uh, hard. Hardened veteran, upcoming... hard, hard, hard warrior. Yeah. Hardened so warrior. these, I guess, are featuring up and coming superstars in addition to to the other top talents. So yeah, hardened. Next, I don't mind this one so much. It's I you see it pop in here and there. Elite. It's a title I've. You see here and there, but not as much. But it, I'm okay with Elite. I like elite, the work. Oh, in my opinion, I think Elite is the best tier name out of all of these. It, it's, my, it it's still pretty unimaginative, though. I, I agree. It's just out of all of them I'm okay with. I'm okay with it. It's just, yeah, very unimaginative. So featuring cast of the WWE, Saviest Veterans, as well as other memorable superstars and legends. But this last one, I hear and see so much with... Uh, titles and tears and stuff like that. That just ah, uh, ultimates. Like, <laughs> I was oh. expecting you to say that. That was ultimate <laughs> featuring the best of the best of the current roster, which is ultimate. hilarious because ultimate. ultimate was only like the third evolution in Digimon. So like, if we're going by Digimon standards, these cards aren't even that great. <laughs> it depends there, there on where you're like, we got you know. we got to wait for the mega cards to drop. Just, oh, yeah. That, we'll, that we'll, is so worry. gonna be in the next yeah, tier, by the way. And you get your, 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 uh, like, mega, yeah. Your yeah. Jogress. And then they're just gonna like start mixing the words together. Here's a here's a mega. Now here's a mega ultimate. <laughs> that only I a mega have. ultimate elite. <laughs> Tell me you quote nice. <laughs> then, and then you just and then you just get into like fucking words. Make, here's a metal mega ultimate. What the fuck? <laughs> He, here's, here's a, a, here's a fusion mega. super mega epic. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? But yeah, that, that's the only <laughs> biggest gripe I have. Like, the concept of, yeah, SmackDown Live, Raw, NXT, it's kind of nice that, you know, with WWE just doing their change and, and with doing those brands and splits as they did, and with NXT always being as it was, uh, with Supercard kind of following suit in a way to do something different, I'll give it to them. It's great. But it's just those names. <laughs> They uh, honestly yeah. should have they should have stuck with something like a pay per view event name like they did with Survivor Series, WrestleMania, SummerSlam. They could have done like Summer Unforgiven. Like Survivor. 
yeah, Unforgiven, so maybe even Survivor 2.0. I would have liked that even better than Hardened. Yeah. Uh, no, I definitely, Unforgiven would have been a great one. Uh, Backlash would have been a pre- pretty decent one to name it after. And uh, what else? There's not really many good pay-per-view names left anymore. No, it, it's really like Fastlane. Roadblock. It's like, what the fuck? So, Suck seeing how they haven't done anything with the Elimination Chamber yet, do you think we're going to get an Elimination Chamber game mode, or is it going to be... Ooh. Because that'll be oh, something oh. That, to be added in the future, because we're getting Rumble and shit now, but I could definitely <laughs> see an Elimination Chamber where, like, you wager cards up to, like, say, like, I'm thrown in a Survivor, and then everybody else is thrown in a Survivor. Winner takes all. Oh, that sounds risky. I, I like that. Like, actually, sounds pretty cool. Hey, Cat Daddy, if you're listening to this, we're helping you out right now. But <laughs> they're not. <laughs> Everyone knows how to gamble. Let's do it. Well, and that's All the right. thing. There's not enough gambling in this game, I don't think. Because the pack odds, they're so bad, it's not even considered a gamble. It's considered <laughs> a fucking mega super chance of maybe a percentile of luck. I got one luck, and I opened a legendary pack. I did it on stream, and I opened up a legendary pack when it was legendary to WrestleMania. First one was a legendary card, and then the second one was a WrestleMania, and that was a Ziggler. And I can Ew. still remember Rainbow. I can still remember Rainbow Warrior's reaction to when I got Ziggler. Here to show the world. Here to show the world. Come on. All right, uh, they, they say closer to launch, we'll review more, more cards. They haven't. Uh, and confirm some games, like some of the game's glorious new cards. That sounds like a Bobby Roode card. That we were already supposed to have. Yeah, where the fuck ha- I think he might be in a PC. He might be in a 24-hour Flash PCC event. I think maybe he was supposed to be the card instead of Jericho. But it got leaked in. And then they decided to change it up to surprise us. Because it doesn't make sense that they had two Jericho cards. Out of anything to be the Flash event, it seems so random. Well, I mean, they would have, they would have, a new, they would have to have added a new proc in right before Season 3. And it's like, they were, well, they're working on Season 3 mainly. So it's like, oh, uh, this well, proc will be here later. But what would have been different from the beginning of the season? That's all that the cards were, like... Fucking Del Rio didn't have a proc. Finn Balor didn't have a proc. Like, everything in Legendary Tier didn't have a proc. Until later. Yeah. Yeah. And they say, Even oh, Sami Zayn when on they it. added him into Survivor Tier. Or not Survivor, uh, WrestleMania Tier. Yeah, when he won that piece, when he won the PCC against Owens, and people were like, damn it, we were hoping for Owens. And I was, Sam I, won. I was, either way, I wasn't like, ah, oh, it could be good either way, but fuck, I was pretty pissed that Owens lost that one. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. So, and then uh, you'll probably be like, "No way!" And we'll and we'll say something like, "Yeah, we're alpha like that," or "You're Omas." Oh my god, these puns hurt my head so much. Oh, the puns are fucking terrible, and like that's Cad Daddy's like gimmick at this point. How fucking terrible of a pun can we come up with? It's yeah. almost it's almost like Trump that bitch. <laughs> uh, so we now know the three tiers that are coming into the game Hardened, Elite, Ultimate I still can't get over Hardened but we're going to continue on with um, ooh ooh wait 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 what if they add a tier named Sunshine tier <laughs> actually with the, with the Hardened tier does that mean we're, that Metapod is a confirmed superstar for Super Yes. yes Yes, yes, that's hot. <laughs> I, I, I was honestly kind of pissed that the Flash event wasn't Donald Trump. They should have done oh, that. God. It, it would have it would have got the mainstream attention. Oh yeah, it probably would have. But they're like, like what Donald the fuck Tr- that, that President is. Donald Trump gets his card in WWE Supercard. Boom! There's your fucking headline. But nope, they decided to go with Jericho. Bastard. All right. Make sure it's proc. Well, yay then. That will count. Yep. Uh, Good morning. Make sure, how you doing? Make sure the proc just said grab her by the pussy. That'd, that'd have to be there, too. Yo, the pussy yeah, but... the pussy grab would be the greatest proc ever. Wouldn't be a great move to, to ever take, 
But, Yo, but yeah. um, no, ask uh, Trish Stratus. She happily took it to WrestleMania 26, 25, or wait, 20, 22. WrestleMania 22, 23? James. I don't remember which WrestleMania it was, but Mickey James grabbed a handful of pussy. Oh. That was literally the greatest pussy grab I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and I've hung out with Donald Trump. <laughs> Okay, then. <laughs> Moving on, uh, we have new game modes called Ranked and Wild in Season 3. So it's like a live player versus player and fast action, my ass. Um, Yo, Fast Lane Daniel Bryan's making a return, baby. I know you're excited about that one. Oh, I am so pumped just to have that card playable in any mode again. You were like, this is never going to be used again. Well, no, I... I I've fully been using them in King of the Rings and uh, WrestleMania tier, and I lose an instant game every time just for the principle of having them in there. You're like, you're, you're proud of that card, I swear. Oh, it fucking, that was the hardest grind I will ever do for a fucking WWE Supercard game ever. Fucking 50,000 points. Uh, it was kind of, I should have been fifth, but by the time, like, everybody kind of, like, Started to ease off. I just kept going. I got, I got third place officially, but I should have been fifth. Nice. I, sto nice. I stole third place. You stole third place. And then the next one, I tied four ways for first. It's when, just like, stole third place. Like, fuck you, I want bronze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going for gold, dog. Just couldn't get her done. A gold for gold, goddammit. Uh, right. I, I literally didn't sleep for two days. Like, I stayed up, like, would splash water on my face, everything. And now that it's, like, top 50 rank, it's like, who the fuck would ever go through that grind ever again for any reason? I kind of feel dumb. PCC back then was basically a you should not sleep event and you will get your card before. Now in this, in, in our day of, of season two, it's like, eh, go to sleep. Everybody's going to be 50 points within each other on the final day. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was scared at the Sasha PCC. I was scared on the Sasha PCC. I was like, uh-oh, shit. I should not have double accounted it, and I should have just clinched the one. I was 100 points away from not getting in on my second account, and I missed the other account by 12 fucking points. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's shit. It was garbage. All right, but but you did get a you did get a diva pro afterwards, so I gotta Yo. give it that. And yeah, right after that was dope. And then on my other account, I got Fusion Pro Aska, and I got a third today. So that account's probably gonna have two Pro Askas and Sasha. It's gonna be Rape nice. City, dog. Rape City. All right, Donald Trump. All right, City. so here we are. Donald Trump. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna talk. We're gonna read the. They're saying we've been throwing around a couple of hit buzzwords for season three: exclusively competition and synergy. The former two are oh, pretty I thought important. One was pillars. Gonna be triggered. Triggered. The former two are pretty important pillars for season three. The latter, l latter, not, not latter, is just one we threw in because we're overhead overheard a guy in a suit say it once. Oh my god, oh, shut the fuck up. Okay, shut then. the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Cat Daddy. <laughs> and everyone around him seems to be impressed. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> I actually don't really mean it, but it's just like this these these puns these puns hurt. It it literally killed a little part of me in my humor. It did. Like yeah. I, I've slowly progressively get, been getting more serious as the time goes on. And as I become a representative of Trump land, but God damn, <laughs> that one hurt. That one hurt so much. When I tell my grandkids about the great meme wars I fought, I'm going to tell them how <laughs> Cat Daddy killed my sense of humor after the meme war. They, they gave me PSTD or PTSD. PTSD. Well, PlayStation PTSD. trauma disorder, that's, that's a whole different one, so... I was just gonna say the other way sounded like an STD. <laughs> well, the, the, the way the, the way they're expressing it is through wild mode, a brand new space that allows for both in act both active and legacy cards to be played together and against each other. 
Ranked is the way we'll be taking competition to a new level, allowing for the first time players to play against other players one another in a live environment. So yeah, when I first started playing Supercard, I thought I was actually facing them live. Little did I know it was AI. Yeah, so I, I thought well, that's I, what I thought too because it was like it seemed like there would be enough people playing it where you could constantly be getting these matches. But fuck, did they ever dupe the shit out of me once I actually started looking into the game? I know, like when I started looking into the game too, I was like, these like I like this one person was like fifty seven and zero, and I was like, haha, just beat your fucking streak. And then I'm like, this person isn't really playing, are they? <laughs> uh, well, I, I had the same thing happen, and that's when I realized it's, I was playing against an AI because I beat somebody that was undefeated, and then I seen him like three or four boards later. I'm like, I fucking beat that guy. What the fuck? Yeah, it, it's it's so stupid. It's like I, I like we were stupid. Clearly, it's like oh. Well, I, in reality, I will. Admit, I have the same thing. I have the same idea too because it's something you would expect. It was something you would definitely expect until you later <laughs> on realize, you lazy motherfuckers. <laughs> um, and but, okay, now, now that they're actually adding it, it's nice, but I can, it, anybody can have that because it, it's something you always expect with multiplayer, with any kind of multiplayer kind of game experience. You're usually facing against somebody. You're not usually facing against an AI, and they never really tell you. Well, and then in in the year 2016, too, everything has become PvP. There's barely any AI games yeah. out there. So for it yeah. to be turned out to be AI, it blew my fucking mind at the time. And that was two that was years like 2014, ago. 2014, wasn't it? Yeah, that was 2014. That was 2014. And Damn, every, this game's getting old. Yeah, everything was PvP at the time. Yeah, it's like, that's what I was expecting. I was like, PvP, this is cool. And I was like, and then like, I got my like some, like, cousins uh, got hooked into the game. They're like, I beat this guy live. And I was like, and this one I knew the game wasn't really like live. I was like, <laughs> you wished. Sure. But they're saying... You, you could say that they trumped that bitch. They trumped that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the title of this podcast is going to be uh, Trump, Trump That, that bitch. bitch. Yo! Trump, Trump That Bitch into Season 3. Biggest week right, in uh, history of the world. And Supercard drops one week later to ruin it all. Yep. Uh, we feel that the introduction to these two modes will have a little something for everyone. You play old school with legacy content, Wild's got your back. If you want to prove that you're the best in the world, we feel like ranked is your area. Well, we hey. know where JB will be playing most of the time. Well, I was just going to say, Double D's got that one on lockdown, so I'm saying, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Wild, as its core, Wild is an evolution of Exhibition. I just said that completely wrong. Exhibition has a been a staple of Supercard's main menu for good reasons. It's fast, it's fun, not really, and it's one of the most effective ways to get track big boards. Actually, it's the only way until you made, uh, until you made money in the bank mode. Then I never had to play again. <laughs> yep, and uh, I still don't have to play. Exhibition will transition to wild mode, and we think it'll gain another perk. Wait, is Exhibition like completely disappearing, it looks like? Yeah, that's like, what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah it's, a, uh, it's an evolution, so yeah. So I have yeah, to use my like... Season 1 cards. Fuck that, no. Oh yeah. my well, god. Well, you, you don't that's need your like... Season 1 cards, because generally you should have cards that are already better than that at this point. I do have Season 1 cards, but it's like all my SummerSlam cards are going to kick its ass. Well, that's what I mean. Like, uh, for the most part, it, these cards shouldn't even make our decks, which is like my whole Daniel Bryan one is going to be like sandbagging a little bit. Yeah, you're just going to be sandbagging, but you don't care. I'm going to be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's going to be like, this fucking fast lane Bryan screwed me again! <laughs> God damn it! Uh, to put away it another way, you can use Season 1, S2, and S3 in the same hand. You can also just use S1 cards, or just S2, or a combination of S1 or S2. You're getting the picture. Wild. It's a no-disqualification environment. Why? No DQ! No DQ! No DQ! Woo, woo, woo! Woo, woo, woo! Can my card use a chair? I would assume so. 
I hope so. Well, you do have a chair support, do you not? Well, yes, but we don't actually see them use the chair. Well, oh, that wait, didn't chair cool get thing. phased out? Oh, yeah, chair got phased. It's now a table. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> table made an appearance. Table made the appearance in WrestleMania season one. It was like, oh, sweet table. It's replaced in the chair. Now it's just table. It's like, whatever, fuck this. Yeah, but chair was actually dope. The chair looked awesome chair on the cards. I rem- that chair Survivor was- chair was like the coolest looking card in the game at a certain point. <laughs> I wanted to use it as my champion. <laughs> Which is always it's- fucked up why they never let us use supports as champions. Because the the managers, they always have dope pictures. Oh, yeah. And, and, their, and their background would change, too, like, as time went on. So it's like, oh, you know, this is how a person has a SummerSlam Vince. Dude. Do you want to mess with them? Nope. <laughs> or probably. I I'm, mean, it doesn't I'm, matter. I'm hoping that we get season one images. Actually, I think, like, when they were doing, like, a Q&A session, they said something about how you can use season one portrait pictures on season two and season three. That's what oh. I think they said. Don't Perfect. quote me on that, but don't because quote me on that. But I think they, they said you can. I was playing a couple games of season one the other day just to fucking play a couple games, and I realized that the uncommon tier in season one had some of the best images for every single person oh, on the roster. They did. I mean, we had a chance to get the Triple H one back, but nope, Roman Reigns had to win that PCC. Yeah. Um, one of the ones I like the most is the Jack Swagger one because like. I think they reused it later, but the way it is in that uncommon one, it just looks way epicer. Hold on, let me look right now, because I can easily pull up Supercard. Way epicer. Get it? Epicer. Get it? Because I'm fucking oh. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that, that pun was a real cane in the ass. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> You just shamed me. <laughs> Damn. That was a good one. Uh, Jack Swagger. Oh, yeah, Jack Swagger's was actually pretty dope. Damn. That's what I'm saying? Yeah. Season one had some hey. of the best images, and a lot of them weren't even available for us to use in season, like, three. Uh, or season two, I mean, yeah. because, season like, two. Uh, I remember a lot of the ultra rare ones were really good, too, and people were pissed that we couldn't take them and move them over to the new system. Yeah, that, that's, oh my god, I just realized I never got a, a rare pro Zack Ryder back in season one. Yo, dog, well, what? Then. How did you not? <laughs> in season one, I was all about card catalog. I fucking tried my best to finish them all. I think I got Epic done, and then I realized I couldn't finish Legendary, so I just stopped trying. Oh yeah, Ultra Rare had really good images. Except Ultra Rare was already was reused with the legendary now. Uh, yeah, a lot of them got Rock reused Lesnar. in the season. That's fine though. Yeah, Daniel Bryan's Ultra Rare is, is currently his uh legendary. I am completely off topic. Let's get back to the fucking podcast. <laughs> uh ranked here, mode here, here. you can play against Trump that bitch. We're back. There we go. We're back. Uh, <laughs> okay then. Thank you. Weird, that's a weird trans like transitioning tool to utilize. Just every so often, Trump that bitch. And that we're was back. a word from our sponsor, Trump that bitch. And we're back. Uh, the breaking news: um, Kill is Kill has became part co-host on the Leg Drop po- Lag Drop podcast. Yo, John Cena. <laughs> See, I'm already controversial. Like, I'm stirring shit up. Yeah. For a good purpose, too. All right, uh, let's go back to when we're on ranked. Ranked is basically <laughs> live PvP. A one player has a six card deck, just like last time. Two, four men, two women. So when they changed over to like women's wrestlers. In Supercard, it was still referred to as Divas, and people were like, oh, you racist, you sexist bastard. How dare you could see, refer to them as Divas? It's like, I can't help it. It still says Divas in the game. Well, yeah, they are. They're Divas. Like, what do we call them? Uh, I, one of my buddies in real life, he was taking a look at the cards the other day, and he's it's the same thing. He said, he's like, what? They didn't change them from Divas to women yet? That's weird. 
I'm like, oh yeah, because they just don't give a fuck. Well, uh, well, clearly they couldn't just change it with like, in mid area. It's like, uh, uh, that's too much programming or some shit. I don't know. I don't so, know. I, I, I'm, it doesn't I don't, mean he does. It doesn't mean we have to. Yeah, I mean, it you, don't you matter, know what really was too much programming? The coming oh. soon slot on the team event. Oh my god. That's true. Appa- that, that apparently happened. that was too much programming for them to complete ever. That never happened? Ever. <laughs> wow. <laughs> when the team system wow. was introduced and I got coveted to the game, we, we saw a coming soon like, oh, what's that going to be? Like, I think actually there was two coming soons. Yeah. And, and then, then one, one turned out to be the enhancement. Yeah, one turned the enhancement and the other one never came. And I think I, I photoshopped a joke for you the one time about that. I was like... Never, never, happening. never happening. Never happening. Never yeah, happening. I think I said never coming soon or something like that. Never <laughs> happening like, or something like that. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll see it this season. Who knows? Oh, I, it might. It, it might actually do something with season three. It might. No, I can't see it. They they wouldn't have that much foresight to put it in the game and make people be like, "Hey, you incompetent fucks, what about this?" <laughs> oh shit! What the, what the fuck happened? <laughs> I How are you stood doing up and now? smashed my leg. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was that was very disruptive of me. It was more hilarious than disruptive. This is this is chaotic. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Get a photo. Yep, never coming. That, that's what it was. Never coming. All right. Um, it's basically live player versus player, and they said you have a limited amount of time to pick your cards. So that's actually a good thing. I'm glad they do that. Oh, where yeah. you say, oh, yeah, you have a limited amount of time to pick the cards. So I'm glad they thought of that at the time, where it's like, no, no, no. Well, well in reality, a lot of card card game-based things do that, too. You have only a limited time of your turn, and so, so and, it's a common thing that it definitely has been implemented. And they announced yeah, that uh, when uh, your opponent just goes AWOL, it just gets replaced by a computer for the rest of the game. Yeah, so it's back to original AI. It's back to original gameplay. But I'm fine with that because it's like, oh, shoot, your player disconnected. I'm not sure how they... Oh, error, error waiting on network. Uh, but yeah, so at a later date, we'll offer rewards for the top players ranked. Oh, shit. So if you actually play ranked mode and you do good, so it's, it's basically an all-time PCC. Yeah, and it's like it's uh, like a weekly PCC. Uh, a lot of these games have it. Uh, Digimon and the yeah. Star Wars. Uh, what was that Star Wars one called again? Um, Jesus, Galaxy the Star of Star Wars Heroes. one. Galaxy of Heroes. That was an amazing game too for a little bit, and then it got a little too complicated. Yeah, that's what yeah, happens yeah, with well, a lot of these games. They become too complicated for their own good. Supercard season nice one Supercard. was super simple. It was super easy to get into, and you know what? If they wanted to do a two and a three, they should have maybe thought about that ahead of time and tried to keep season one alive as long as possible, too, because I think a lot more people would be into the game, just mainstream-wise, because w- once you get to the combining cards with, like, ten games and shit, and you don't realize that, a lot of people just quit the game. Yeah, it's, uh, that's one thing I noticed as well. It's like, I don't want to play games. I just want to level up my cards. I'm willing to do that instead. Like, mm-hmm. that's actually one thing that got really, like, that really is, pissed me off more was like, great, now I got to do games instead? Fuck. Because that's like putting losses on my, on my wreck, on my track. It's like, oh, yeah, you have X amount of losses now because you were training a card. Yeah, for me, I never gave a fuck because. Like, once it stopped becoming about collecting cards, it was just about having the strongest cards. And at that point, Basically. like, it do- your win-loss record doesn't mean shit at all. So I would no. I will literally take four cards I'm training up, stay in SummerSlam tier, play all them four cards, train them the fuck up, and then take, like, a billion losses in the meantime. Because my deck's so fucking <laughs> imbalanced, and it's, like, 2 MB... Oh yeah, and the, yeah, I remember on season one they where they put a stop to three MB and were like, nope. Oh, and then you go to NHL Supercard and it's like total three MB. You can three MB, you can two MB, you can almost one and a half MB. Oh, it's fucking intense. Some of the decks you run into. Yeah, 
Well, we covered ranked and wild, so let's move on to the final game mode, Royal Rumble. Ding ding. Kevin. Ding. Kevin, oh, would God. you like would you like to talk about this one? Oh fuck. So this is uh an interesting uh game mode in general being proposed here, but just the one the one phrasing they're using here, this one word, just sounds like JR himself decided to write this here. Slobber Rumble <laughs> is a is appropriately named. It's a fifteen card <laughs> on fifteen card. Slam Aganza! <laughs> Slam Aganza! Holy shit! Literally That's just like an indie Slam-a-ganza. show pay per view name. We are having an eye pay per view this week called Slam Aganza. It's the sixth one if anybody's interested. It's got Jumpin' Jack Jesus versus John <laughs> Cena's father, what? John Cena Sr. That is. Wow, I was jumping Jack Jesus. I have to admit, I, I've i never heard a more redneck name in my life. I was just going to say, Jump. it's somebody from the Deep South that's super religious. <laughs> my name is Jumping Jack Jesus. My name is Jumping Jack Jesus, that's what I'm, I, I'm that's here what to wrestle. Like, yeah, it's like someone just gets really triggered. It's pronounced Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. If you, if you look at that mother, if you look at that motherfucker, does he look like a Jesus? <laughs> I'm sorry. Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm just a redneck Jesus, and if you can't accept that, then you can't accept a human being. That makes you a racist. By the power of the holy AK. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's the uh, M4 carbine, my friend, or the AR-16, if you want to be technical. Oh, my God. <laughs> a, a, a slam again, Comm- uh, Commandment number one, thou shalt shoot the motherfucker that deserves to be shot. And his name is John Cena Sr. <laughs> this Sunday at Slam again. It'll be the first ever holy water match. Jesus fucking Christ. Continue, please. Uh, okay, moving from Jumpin' Jack. Jesus. <laughs> and honestly, it sounds like a three syllable curse word when you're like really scared. Jumpin' Jack. Jesus. <laughs> I'm so going to use it that way now. <laughs> Jumpin' Jack. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to use that in my videos now. Oh, shit. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yo, that's yeah, gimmick trademark. infringement. I'm trademarking that right now. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, Let's co-trademark that, bitch. Yo, in, <laughs> so, yeah, in, in before next week, WWE's got a fucking guy in NXT named the... Jumping Jack Jesus. Just, just some oh, fucking yeah. big dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jumping Jack Jesus just faced against No Way Jose. Okay, no way, going. Jose, jumping, Jack Jesus. Jack Jesus. <laughs> okay. Okay, so for Jesus, uh, as uh, this appropriate name is a slam again, is, uh, where you battle another player t- uh, to have the last card standing in the ring, just like Royal Rumble. Yep. So in e- each round, uh, you and your opponent play cards to battle. If you own the ring, you uh, can sacrifice a card to pick a type of match. It would be speed, all of the that type matches. Speed, power, uh, toughness, uh, charisma. Yeah, I'll unfold. Uh, if you are currently holding down the ring, you can play a card to go up against your opponent's card and if your opponent doesn't pick up uh, an advantage match type or whatever, he or she will lose the ring and your card will enter as the new victor. So, yeah, that kind of battling. Just yeah. like Royal Rumble, basically. Yeah, it, it sounds... Part of it might sound a little... Uh, it's in my as sense. It like it sounds really complicated to explain, but I bet it's gonna be super simple when the um, in a simplistic playing. form. It kind of just sounds kind of like almost like ring dom in a way, just because you're trying to, you know. Yeah, it sounds like ring domination actually. The in way, a way, yeah. The way, um, yeah, the way you make it sound. It the way like ring I, the way I think it goes down is like you get fifteen cards each, 
and then you yeah. might not even need all 15 of your cards. You might only need three to beat somebody else's deck of 15 cards. Yeah. But you gotta yeah. go through the gauntlet. It's kind of like a gauntlet match. That would probably yeah, be a yeah. better way to describe what it's gonna be like. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, basically, uh, yeah, so holding down the ring for a full round earns you up one point, and then having the last card standing gives you three points. So it's a point based thing, as usual. Uh, the player with the most points wins. Of course, why not? Sense. This ain't golf. <laughs> uh, but there is a catch. The ring holder attributes drain as they go against new opponents. Oh. They get wear down. They say ain't Rey Mysterio. You can't, you can't hold him to a fucking hour and still be standing. Well, Rey uh. Mysterio, legendary from season one, probably could hold it down against all the other legendary pros. There you go. Uh, so picking which card to sacrifice if you're holding the ring or which card to use in battle and trying to get into it. So uh, it can be introducing, as they say, some interesting decisions. Um, so, for instance, if your opponent is holding an ultimate card, yeah. an ultimate, again, I said this earlier, it just sounds like a fucking like, Yu-Gi-Oh! or anime reference of a card game. Like, this is my ultimate card! Jelly Bean! Summon <laughs> Ultimate! Ultimate card, blue eyes, ultimate dragon. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! I don't know why I made Kaiba sound that way, but Screw sorry. Everybody. Ultimate Greymon. <laughs> Screw the rules. I'm in a rave. Um, yeah. Uh, you, <laughs> uh, so you may uh, want to do wheel down with a weaker card before, before storming the ring and blah blah blah. And uh, same goes with sacrificing. And uh, yeah. So basically, you're trying to hold. You try to hold the. Uh, you try to be the last, last person standing, the last uh, man Oh, standing. it could kind of be like headquarters from Call of Duty. Hey, yes. All right, what it's saying is design-wise, like Royal Rumble is intended to be a mid-game kind of mode. Yeah. Which means it'll last longer than a wild or ranked game, but doesn't last as long as King of the Rings. Yeah. Okay, it's good. So I don't have to wait. It basically, yeah, it's... Say it's tailored for folks who enjoy strategy and want to use a wider array of cards and unique battles. I feel like they should not use this. There is like a, it's a play it on your way to work. No, don't play this on your way to work. You're driving a damn car. Yeah, or while shit. you're on your, or while you're on the couch makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, but while play it well, on your way to work. No, nah, they're, you're they're thinking things. city slicker life where you like ride a fucking bus train. I'm sorry, but I fucking drive to work. Yeah, a lot of us do. Fucking bastards. And and, and and because of this being a more time commitment, you uh, earn more draft picks than the standard modes. So that's kind of cool, too. Sure, and also, I, cool I hope you earn like 50 for what they're excited. Because the card limit yeah. isn't small enough already, anyway. Um, And also yeah. some cool reward system that they're excited to, to show and launch in, in Season 3. So, yeah. That is Season 3, ladies and gentlemen. Um, The game will... the. Season 3 will launch Wednesday, November 16th. And if you are listening to this after the release, then we just basically explained everything to you. So if you're confused about the game, we just helped you out explaining a bit and crack some jokes with Jumping Jack Jesus. And we explain shit at this point. We explain Jumping Jack Jesus, though. So that's we jump, we Jumping we Jack it. Jesus is already a legend. <laughs> yeah, at this point. He's, he's almost people. on the level of James El Ellsworth by the time this podcast He He is... <laughs> Jumping Jack is ultimate. <laughs> Jumping Jack is um, a WWE supercard. You know what I want? I want, like, world's dopest or some car custom card maker to make Jumping Jack Jesus for us after we publish this. We, we should make Jumping Jack Jesus, and he should be a hardened card. For sure. <laughs> Because he is hardened as fuck. I have, 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 like, literally, instead of, like, the word hardened or something, just have a symbol that's literally just a dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hardened card. Nah, nah. Jumping, like I always say this. Jumping say, Jack, Jesus, <laughs> yeah. don't swing that way. I don't like dicks. I like the puss puss. Puss. Like I always say this, and I think to myself, I'll probably end up photoshopping this shit later. Yeah, like, wait, Kevin's a custom card maker. Never mind. <laughs> I completely yeah. forgot. Um, yeah. Well, well, that's it for the Zombie Crew podcast. And that is, like I said, this is the final Zombie Crew podcast. 
Um, so if you want to continue listening to us on the new podcast, I will leave a link updated. I will probably make like another like audio file saying, hey, the new podcast is live. It's over here on Shout Engine. Here's a link or something like that. So that way I can inform the the current audience here that, hey, the new podcast is up. So, so with just, that being uh, said. Just um, by jumpingjackjesus.com and the, just defer to there. I want to look that up now. <laughs> I am wanting to Google Jumping Jack Jesus to see if that's anything. So what do we got? Jumping Jack. Compactor Flash Trailer. Okay, so nothing really with Jesus. Jumping Jacks for Jones. Jesus. Oh, Jumping Jack Flash is something. Uh, Jumping Jacks for Jesus is the first thing that comes up on YouTube. Okay, yeah. then. Yeah. Jumping Jack Flash is the first thing I get. Oh, Jumping Jack Jesus. A one second, a one second clip on YouTube. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> it's now got four views by Jesus. Mark Johnson. Oh, wow. Oh, and his Jesus, got... his Jesus does a Jumping Jack. That's awesome. That was great. <laughs> I didn't I'm even hit like the video. I honestly didn't even think about the, gonna... the jumping jack action itself. I just was like thinking of names and like jumping jack Jesus. <laughs> God fucking damn. I'm making a comment right now, hold on. <laughs> Guys, you're like who the fuck is this asshole? This is fucking beautiful. I made this video like two fucking years ago, and now yeah. this fucker comes by. We should totally get it viral. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, okay. literally get that viral. Just, you know, I'll we got a problem with you. Trump? Well, here, watch this video. It might make you feel better. Just one second clip of Jesus doing a jumping jack. Who wouldn't Trump, fucking love that? Trumper by the pussy? Is that what it is? Oh, do you guys Trump see the right? comment I just added? Oh, I'm very fresh. Oh, refresh. Jump and Jack Jesus. It's got two likes. Trump that bitch. <laughs> I just tweeted it out on Twitter, too. Trump that bitch. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it to you. That's pretty good. Stop, stop, stop. Mark Johnson here is like, where the fuck did these guys come from? He's going to be so pissed. <laughs> what the hell is all of these guys? He's going to have like, he's like, he's gonna have like 100 views on his video, though, and he's going to be like, this is awesome. Holy shit. And then he's oh going to see the comments. Chop that bitch. Anyways, uh, plug yourselves, I guess. Um, Moose, where can we find you? Uh, at KillMooseKill on Twitter and uh, KillMooseKill.com for my YouTube. All right. And Kevin, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me over at KDOG KCP on Twitter, KDOG Creations on YouTube, and Control Chaos on Shout Engine. Why not? Also, JohnCena.com. I don't care. Got my own podcast. It's great. <laughs> All right, you guys at John.com. Also, you can find me on YouTube at iChaotic. I will be publishing reaction videos, um, maybe a Jumpy Jack Jesus for all they care. Um, you can also find me on Twitter at TZK, where I will be commenting with Kill Moose Kill and um, talk about Jumpy Jack Jesus over there. <laughs> with that being said, uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to the Zombie Group Podcast Hour. This is not the end for all of us. We're just going to change our name because we feel like it's necessary. Like, we don't talk about zombies whatsoever on the Zombie Crew podcast. So, uh, we've been thinking about changing the name for quite some time. It's just we, it's really difficult to think of a new name. So, Lag Drop is basically, it, it, it could be a possible work in progress. It might not even be the final touch, but Lag Drop podcast, uh, Shout Engine coming soon. All right. See you guys later. Thank you very much. Flip, flop, flip, and flop. Trump that bitch! Trump that bitch. <laughs> I feel like we went very Trump that bitch heavy.